Hello you guys, today I'm going to be showing you my ultimate complete guide to a Disney stroller, diaper bag, mommy bag. I'm showing you my entire setup start to finish and we are here as you can tell at Magic Kingdom enjoying the day. But if you've been enjoying tips, tricks and hacks for taking toddlers to Disney as well as Disney planning tips and Disney vlogs from our adventures here at the park, then you'll definitely want to click the red subscribe button and also click the thumbs up button if you enjoy the video and with no further ado, let's jump into the stroller. Today I am showing you guys our setup on the Juvie cool and we are really really liking this double stroller it is great especially if you are staying on a Skyliner resort and on this particular trip we are on a Skyliner resort we're over at Caribbean Beach I always get questions about whether I like my side-by-side -side or my inline stroller and honestly the biggest thing that it comes down to as far as which one is best for Disney is depending on your location if you're using a double wide stroller then you can get it onto monorails you can collapse both of them for buses and so the big kicker comes down to if you're on the Skyliner this is going to be the ticket for you because if you are in a side-by-side -side double stroller then you cannot push that into a Skyliner gondola and you will need to take your children out your things out and fold it down to get it on so with this one I can push it straight in I don't take the kids out if they're sleeping they're napping if they're not in a great mood or I just don't want to have to hassle of folding down this stroller I don't have to have it so that is the big difference on which one to take but let me show you the setup now so this is what the stroller looks like all set up and we're just gonna start out here in the very front of the stroller so I love one that has a snack tray so if your stroller has one or has the option definitely bring a snack tray coming around to the side I love these lights especially at night you cannot see them it's so bright today but when you are trying to find your stroller in the dark having some sort of lights on the side or wrapped around the handlebar is a lifesaver for finding them uh, we have some maps down in there this is like realistic you guys we've got Cheerios and all kinds of stuff um, and then coming around to the back I just keep their rain covers in here I bring these whether it is rainy season windy season it is cold like today it has been down in the 50s when we left our room this morning and so I wanted to have something even to be able to put that over them and it's a wind blocker so depending on even when you're coming just bring the rain cover if it's rainy season not rainy season it can be helpful for so many different reasons and pop-up showers can come out of nowhere in florida so better to be prepared and bring that rain cover with you coming up here to the side i have my little mickey hanging basket i love this i can throw it's like a little catch-all for everything we've got ears in here we've got cups and all kinds of stuff as well as our stroller blankets which I will get out and show you in just a second but this thing is perfect and I love it so so much another thing I like to keep in here or just somewhere in the diaper bag and this is my big ticket that everybody's always like oh my gosh this is genius but that is to keep a reusable shopping bag in your stroller it helps so so much for having it and being able to pull it out whether you're getting on the bus getting off the bus any situation or you're going wherever this is all of your things that are in the basket and all the things you bought that day your souvenirs your your leftover snacks or whatever can all go into this bag and you can carry it and it's one less thing you're not having to grab multiple things you just grab one single bag so this is my like favorite thing that I've ever come up with so if this helps you out and you've used this definitely leave me a comment below with like a little shopping bag emoji because it's a lifesaver especially if you've used it you know it helps so much all right let's jump back into this and then the next thing that I'm going to be showing you guys on the stroller here are our stroller blankets this is one out and it actually velcros to the stroller which is amazing it has this little loop and so it's so much better than having just a traditional blanket just draped over them that they can drop and you can lose because especially if it's nighttime and it's chilly then you might drop it and walk right past it and didn't even know you lost your blanket so highly recommend this one and it can even strap onto the stroller just like this and it works folds down super small so highly recommend this if you are coming and it's going to be chilly or you just want a blanket for your stroller and another thing that I love on this side of the stroller, I have more stroller lights, but that's this tag along handle. It is absolutely amazing. Again, we'll have as much linked, but this is so helpful for when your toddler wants to get out and walk along the side of the stroller. So this works out perfect. Now coming to the back of the stroller, I love my little stroller tag. I know it's kind of a one-time use thing, but I absolutely love it. Coming around to the side, I love having this stroller hook and it is great for shopping bags, that reusable shopping bag water bottles i can hook it onto my water bottle and it's so great all right so the next thing i love is this stroller caddy it's from petunia pickle bottom it is in there a cinderella print i love that it keeps the cups really nice and secure then you've got spots for snacks phone whatever and it also has this extra little bag here 
It folds out of this Velcro pocket and it is huge, you guys. So you can see how far it comes down and you can just pop things in from up here. So it's great for even like bubble wands, all kinds of stuff that you maybe want to keep out of your kid's sight that you're like taking to play with later or something. That is a really great thing to use that for and it works perfect. And then if your diaper bag has these D-rings, these stroller hooks are amazing. I love them. They're like a leatherette, really nice quality. Again, for Petunia Pickle Bottom, kind of goes with the diaper bag, but I love this and so glad I finally invested in these because they are so worth it. And then now we're gonna jump in to the diaper bag. And one thing I did forget to mention while I was showing you the diaper bag hanging here, is I love that with it hanging, you can have access to your pockets. So if you have multiple kids and there's more, like you have a water bottle, they have a water bottle, you've got a coffee, whatever. You have the two cup holders for the actual stroller caddy. And you also have the two cup holders for the diaper bag, which is extra nice. So love that. Now let's jump into the diaper bag. Okay, so unzipping the diaper bag here in the top, I keep the girls' headphones. These are actually their Bluetooth headphones for their tablets, but I like to use them as well as for ear protection. You saw a second ago, probably Lucy wearing hers. It's a bit loud to her right now. She's going through this phase where she thinks things are loud. So just to make her a bit more comfortable, I do have these in here. And then these usually have both of them filled with snacks. We've been in them already today. But for this one, this is what I keep our snacks in. I love having two different prints. And so that's another tip for you guys is to use two different kind of prints or styles if you have multiple kids so they can each have their own snack bag. Ooh, fire. And then the next thing I wanted to show you guys is my mealtime bag. This thing is a lifesaver for mealtime here at the parks as well as at um, home. <laughs> my girls with me, so they're in another video. But I love to keep a little toddler set of spoons and forks in here. That really helps. And then I have a Ziploc bag full of crayons for these guys. So this is a disposable placemat, which I love to use for the girls. You can put this down. It has a little sticky tape here on the back. And so you pop that down onto the table. It gives them a clean space, a clean space for their food. But then it also gives them, Bella. but it also gives them an activity. They can color on it. And even at character meals, even some of the characters will sign their, they'll take the crayon and sign the little paper. So it looks really cute and it's fun. It's kind of an interactive little thing that they can do. So love these. And I will have this and everything that I can for them this entire video linked in the description box below. And then the next thing in my diaper bag are these long sleeve bibs. I love them for the long sleeve purposes of they cover more, especially right now it's cooler weather, they're wearing long sleeves. And so I want those shirts protected and not getting covered in stains. And so I love these. They even have the little like pocket here so it kind of catches some things and it fits on like a smock. So, and it just ties in the back. So super, super easy. They also have like regular style bibs as well as short sleeve versions of these. And I will have those linked too for you guys to check out. These are machine washable. I just throw them in the wash. So easy to use, really wipeable. I just love them so much. And then these, I just keep a travel size pack of wipes here in this bag as well. That way I'm not having to dig through the diaper bag or anything to get out a pack of wipes. It's really simple to just pull them out when I'm needing to clean them up at a restaurant. And another thing I like to keep in there are these silicone straws because here at Disney, they do lots of paper straws and my toddlers just chew them together and it just doesn't work really good at all. Sorry, I'm getting trying on my kids. <laughs> but it's just one of those things you're gonna wanna have these with you because you go through a lot of paper straws with them chewing them closed. And then I just also have some extra diapers. I have my other diaper setup, which I'll show you in just a second, but I have those extras in here. I have a blanket because I always like to keep just an extra blanket because sometimes ones get wet or they get something spilled on them or whatever. So I like to have an extra blanket or even something that we can like sit down on if we needed to. So extra layers. I have my solar buddy here, which I Love this thing for applying sunscreen. You just rub it on like so. It's just got a little applicator. Perfect, it makes putting on sunscreen so much easier than having to squeeze it on your hand and rub it and just getting it all over. It just, yeah, highly recommend this thing. And then these little guys I picked up at the Dollar Tree for bringing for our trip. They're on a girl's trip, so I have a third one for um, Becca's little girl, and so I have that. And then I also keep some traditional little glow sticks in there. These are great for dark rides or nighttime at the parks if your kids get a little kind of a little more 
afraid of the dark or you just need some entertainment for them while you are waiting on an attraction or the Skyliner or the monorail or bus or whatever. These are really fun and my girls call them lightsabers so they'll like play lightsabers but these are really really inexpensive and you can use them and just kind of ration them out throughout the trip for a few of them and it's perfect. Another thing I like to keep in here is our portable sound machine. My youngest will still sometimes take a stroller nap. If your kid's a stroller napper, I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. My kids are not stroller nappers. We're midday nap, midday break, back to the room for nap kind of people. But this is another thing that I love to have in here because when she does need to rest, I have it handy. And then in the bottom, I have two separate wet bags. I have two girls, so I keep a change of clothes for each of them. Like this one is my toddlers, and then this is my younger babies and so I can pull either one of them out and be able to put their dirty clothes into this bag and pull out the clean one. And then I will have a link in the description box of all of my favorite toys that I like to keep in the diaper bag that are great for lines as well as waiting for parades or just different things. All of the waiting you have to do at Disney. You definitely want to have some little small trinkety things, things that can clip onto your bag or simple things that you can pull out and let them play with while you're waiting. So I will have a link to all of my favorites and a lot of other travel toys in the description box below. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys is my mommy bag slash diaper changing bag. I love keeping this with me all throughout the day that way whether I'm near my stroller or not I can just run into a bathroom or the baby care center and do a diaper change, do a potty break with no problems whatsoever so showing you from the back is you can see here this part just folds out and you can lay your baby onto it and be able to change their diaper really easily and then popping into the inside of the bag here I keep all this stuff in here so we have diapers in this bag I have my wife's clutch which actually fits down in here I love this thing and you can also if you want to just use this put some diapers on the back of it excuse me ma'am but you can just pop some diapers onto the back of this and be able to carry just this. So if you're not a changing pad person, this option works really, really well. Or you can keep this and just be able to pull it. And then Bella's helping me with this part. I keep these little toys in here, just random little things. So this is like a little sensory tube here. Y'all play with that one? There you go. Thank you. But I will we'll play, pull them apart and close them while in line. And another thing that I keep in this diaper bag is the Honest little diaper rash spray. It is really helpful. Whether your kids need it at home, a lot of times my girls, they don't need diaper rash like spray or anything at home. But when we're here at the park, they just tend to do that. I don't know if it's the heat and the moisture. It's just being outside, they need that way more here. Then I'll keep some little like buses or cars or something in there. Just more things to occupy them while we're in line. Some little trinket thing that I can pull out, they can play with and it's really easy. And then for my potty train toddler, I will keep a pack of Clorox wipes in here for that as well as I keep this potty seat. And I will have to insert footage here because I forgot to grab it out of the hotel room this morning. We used it and in a rush I forgot it. But it is this little toddler potty seat and it works really, really great for if they are scared of sitting on a big potty or especially for some toddlers, they need it to go number two. So that's just really helpful to have for an extra option there. And so that is kind of what I keep in there. And then in this back little zipper pocket, I will keep this little meds case with some Tylenol and things for myself, as well as my wallet goes back in there. A lot of times I'm using mobile pay on my phone or something like that. So I don't have to get it out very often, but I do want to keep that with me because this has oh, got to have my valuables in it that I'm not leaving in the stroller because obviously I don't want my wallet stolen. When it comes to my diaper bag, I leave that hanging on the stroller all day long. I will grab things out of it but it just hangs there like once we get to the parks it's clipped on and we are done and I carry this bag around with me because it has my wallet valuables things like that go in there and so just to make it a little bit easier and lighter I'm not carrying it on now you can carry your diaper bag onto attractions there's no problem with that but I just find it a little bit easier to not have a big clunky diaper bag with me going on all of that stuff. So just makes it a little bit simpler. Keeps your hands free when you're chasing around some little kiddos. And so that makes it a bit easier there too. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, don't forget the thumbs up button and the subscribe button down below. And if you want to see how I set up our hotel room for two toddlers and their sleep, you can click on this video right over here to watch that next.